CataractCoach.com. Fibrotic anterior lens capsule, and it's a brunescent cataract. This is going to be a very difficult case. Not at all easy. So let's watch carefully here. So I guess surgeon's got some good draping here. So sitting superiorly, making a main phaco incision. There it is. Looks like for the right hand. Probably getting some tripan blue dye next. And so maybe, okay, maybe some anesthetic or something to help dilate the pupil or keep it dilated. Phenylephrine, epinephrine. Yep, that looks like it did it. Good job. I like how the incision hits the limbal vessels too, by the way. Now, there's the tripan blue dye going in, and then let that stain. Yeah, we'll tap, tap, uh, no problem, and then wash that out. Let's see the stain we get. Obviously, we sped the video up because we know cataract coach fans like to get right to it. Now, here comes the viscoelastic. Now, the key is, gosh, sometimes orexis is hard with these. With these fibrotic changes there, can be really difficult. So let's see what the technique's going to be. Now, look at that. It looks like topical anesthesia. In a case like this, I'd be tempted to do, like, you know, maybe some tenons or peribulba or something else, but okay. Let's see, fixating now with the left hand, right hand going in with the caps, rexus, forceps, and getting that rexus. Look at that, almost, oh, that's getting stuck. So that fibrotic membrane actually can often be peeled from away from the undersurface of the anterior capsular um, edge. And here, look at that, wow, it's a pretty still reasonable looking rexus. I like it a lot. Now, because it's a brunescent cataract, I'd make a nice, juicy, generous, big rexus, but wow, that is fantastic. Sometimes it's not that easy. You're obviously a great surgeon. I appreciate the video. You're doing a beautiful job. There, let's get that finished. If it does get stuck, some of you you're gonna have to just cut it. Now look at that. There's the whole fibrotic membrane. Whoa, capsulex is done. Now look at the whole membrane can be peeled off. Look at that thing. Whoosh. Yeah, I pull that out of the eye. Give that to the patient for a souvenir. <laughs> now a little bit of hydro dissection. I'd, can you get that thing out of the eye? It's kind of irritating me. Now, let's see what we got here. It's definitely brunescent. Looks like zonules or have reasonable support there. Doesn't look like too much zonulopathy. I just grabbed that with forceps. Just grab with the forceps and kind of yank it out. Okay, I like the viscoelastic, but just, just grab that thing. Don't leave it there. Are you going to... I wouldn't even... I just pull it out with forceps. I wouldn't even ask for it with a phaco probe. Now, here. Oh, you're going to do the phaco probe. Whatever you, whatever you like. You teach me. Now, okay, <laughs> you're going to buzz into this thing. Look at that big gooey thing. Zzz, zzz, buzz into that thing. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Sometimes it may just clog up your tip even. Sometimes it won't break up with ultrasound. That's why I would have just grabbed it with the forceps and yanked that thing out of the eye. Just yank it. But I guess you can buzz into it and just kind of wolf it down. There you go. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Now it looks like a sharp chop on the left hand, so maybe a vertical chop technique here. Let's see what we're going to do here. Maybe, um, let's see, a little bit of a groove. Okay, maybe like a submarine chop. We've seen that before. No? Okay, maybe groove down the middle, maybe a stop and chop. You can debulk that. that. That center part of the nucleus is the densest part, as you know. So, okay, debulking it. I like that. There's the split. Beautiful split, by the way. Nice looking stop and chop. And now, let's see. Yep, look at that. Be nice, clean chops. I like how you use the wall of the groove to bury the phaco tip in the meat of the nucleus. That's really smart. If you're a young student and didn't quite get that, go back and watch it again. That's really smart. And so, rotating here again. Again, buzz in. Look now, look, look where the probe's going to go. It's going to go in the deep and meatier part of the nucleus before you do the chop. That's great. You have great technique here. Fantastic. And now let's see. Take these pieces down. Wow, how happy is this patient going to be? And how happy is the surgeon? What a fun case. Don't you love a fun challenge case like this? We all love a good challenge. That makes it fun. It makes, keeps your day interesting. Now you got half the nucleus out. There's the other half in the capsule bag. Get that thing rotated around. There it is. And buzz, buzz, buzz. Yup. And there's the chop again. So you're very handy with the vertical chopper. Now probably switching over to a blunter instrument. Yep, there you go. Just Oh, more viscoelastic. I like that. Smart. Recode the endothelium with viscoelastic. More dispersive agent in there. Now back to your sharp chopper. Okay. I like that. Viscoelastic is cheaper than endothelial cells. That's for dang sure. Now aspirate and you know, fake it down these little quadrants there. Yep. The air bubbles are, are like champagne. It's free. Don't worry about it. Get rid of, get rid of those pieces. And now you got the one quadrant left in the bag. And remember, the bag is empty other than that quadrant. There's no cortex. There's no epinuclear shell. Nothing's weighing down the bag. So when this last piece comes up, be careful because the bag can be floppy. If you don't have great fluidics, sometimes that bag can be very floppy. And so you want to keep that chopper. I'd keep it in the, what I call the safe position when the last pieces are coming up. And that means the smooth back end of the chopper is towards the posterior capsule just to prevent the capsule from coming up. You never know. I don't want to risk anything. And then slow motion. These last few pieces, slow, slow, slow. Take it easy. As Osher says, slow motion fake sometimes is the best thing for you. Look at that. Wow. Finally, some light gets to go shine on the retina. 
Whoosha! That retina hasn't seen light in a while. Now going in with a coaxial IA, clean this up here. Again, again, very little cortex remaining in a brunescent lens like this. And so now, that looks fantastic. This patient's going to be amazed. Absolutely amazing. Look at the incision. looks pretty good still. Sometimes you have a dense case. you got to be careful. Don't get a fake wound burn. So there's the viscoelastic film, the capture bag here. Let's see the eye was going to go in. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like a single piece of acrylic. Let's get that thing delivered. Put that in the capture bag. Del deliver, deliver, deliver. And again, if you've got a great technique, hey, send us a video. We want to learn together. I'm here to learn. I want to learn from you. So you, if you go to, people say, how do I submit a video? Well, you go to cataractcoach.com, and there's a link that says submit your video. Just follow the directions carefully. Now let's get this lens in the bag. And your technician didn't do a hot job of loading it, but not bad. We still, we'll still manage. But there are full directions there. Remember, we get like 50 to 60 videos sent a week and only can feature 10% of them. So if you want to increase your odds, send a complication in. Send a really tough case. But never send a case that says, look how fast I'm, I can do a fake one in three minutes. That's not, that's not cool. I've made that mistake. Don't worry. I'm not blaming you, but I'm just saying. We'd rather, we want to learn from each other. So complications are our favorite. We always give priority to complications. Now, the end of the case here, watch out the viscoelastic, seal up the incision, call this a day. Woo, patient's going to be happy. You may get a little corneal edema the next day. It was a lot of phaco energy. But again, this patient's going to be just absolutely happy. And then hydrate the incision. I like to do the roof, not the sides, but ooh, it's a lot of hydration. Whatever makes you happy. At the end of the case, it's fantastic. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com and the instructions for uploading your video.